when I grew up, there were really no books available to me that didn't show anybody that was not Caucasian. Um, and I think that was one of the contributing factors to why I rejected my culture so early. I felt like there was nobody in the books that I loved that looked like me, so I must not have any value. A a being Asian must not have any value since there's that nobody has bothered to document somebody who looked like me. I think I realized that fairly early on. I remember reading um, Little House on the Prairie, uh, actually Little House in the Big Woods, Little House on the Prairie, all those books, and I loved those books, and I still I still love those books. But I remember at one point there's there's a section uh, where Ma hates Indians, and the uh, first time I read it, I was like, oh, okay, you know, I, I just realized, oh, that's, that's Ma hates Indians. And then I remember uh, we were playing, I was playing with my neighbors, and we are like, we're playing Little House on the Prairie. And somewhere in that play, I realized, Ma hates Indians, she would probably hate me too. And it was just such a very strange feeling all of a sudden that, oh, I, that I'm American, but maybe I'm not. So it was a very, very interesting and um, revelation early on. And that's that's like a part, that's what contributed to my feeling of, I don't want to be the person that Ma hated, hates, or kind of person that Ma would hate. I tell this story uh, very often about when I was in fourth grade and um, my class was putting on the play The Wizard of Oz. And all the girls really wanted to be Dorothy, and I really wanted to be Dorothy too. And all the girls who wanted to be Dorothy would stand outside the playground and we would all sing Somewhere Over the Rainbow over and over again, practicing and practicing for the audition. Until finally, on the day of the audition, I turned to the girl next to me, and we were all practicing that one last time, and I said, do you think, do you think they might choose me to be Dorothy? And she said to me, but you can't be Dorothy. Dorothy's not Chinese. And I remember I felt so stupid, and I felt like, oh, she's right. Dorothy's not Chinese. I can't try out. And so when they called my name at the audition, I didn't even bother to try out. I just shook my head and I said, no, no, no. I don't want to try out. Dorothy's not Chinese. It's stupid for me to even try out. And I guess I feel like if you have books in your library or you, um, if you show books with all different kinds of uh, races in to your students, then those that kind of that kind of interaction almost disappears. I definitely think that pe people should read books from as many different cultures as possible. I mean, that's the only way that you can learn and really um, empath empathize with other people and other characters and other races and other cultures. Um, the, lots of people always say when you read a book, you become another person, and that's the only time you can do that kind of brain transfer is when you read a book. And I think that's a really valuable tool. Um, I think it's really important to talk to teachers because they really are the gateway to um, kids. I think um, kids are wonderful, wonderful readers, but they need sometimes they need a little push to <laughs> to uh, to to read books to open open their doors. Um, I think everybody, and it's only normal, and I think most normal kids, they just, they, they always fall into what is comfortable. Teachers are really in the, in the position to say, you know what, that's great that you want to read that Disney book, but why don't you try this one too, and you might like it. And then it kind of uh, encouraging them, and then all of a sudden their whole world opens up. I think that the biggest turning point um, for me was when I was in college, um, when I was at the Roland School of Design. And uh, before I left for Rome, Italy, I had a teacher, uh, her name was Mary Bridget Barrett, and uh, for, a, for a children's book class. And before I left, I, she, she, before I left and I, was, I did work in her class, she took me aside and she said, why do you always draw Caucasians in your artwork? And I said, um, I don't know. I, and the truth was, I didn't know. I had never thought of it before. And, um, and she, just let, she just let me go. And she didn't push it or anything like that. Um, but that question stayed in my mind. And it stayed in my mind the whole time when I was in Rome. And I think that was really kind of, that really planted the seed of, of changing um, the whole course of my career, I guess. <laughs>